Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 39. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are here at the Infinium Raceway for race number 5 of... The TT World Series, the Tourist Trophy World Series. I can't speak. <laughs> Let's do this. Very nice. Good corner there. So far, haven't fallen off at the first corner. Which is always a worry corner for us. Doesn't always go very well. Awesome. Nice. There we go. Take that corner as well as possible without falling off, preferably. Using the uh, advertisement boards as reference points. Anything on the track can be used as a reference point. Sometimes reference points can be the most obscure things ever as well. Awesome. Coming up to the final corner of lap number one. I still can't believe they changed the name of this track. Unbelievable. How could they do such a thing? Oh, nearly crashed on the inside there. Okay. Very wide there. Perfect. catching up to first place. much much shorter race compared to the others I think this race and the next race is probably going to take us only about 15 or 16 minutes because of the fact that they are uh, fairly short laps especially as the next one is uh, the Fuji Fuji Speedway no not Fuji um, Mategi Speedway
Here we go. Let's get this. We've done the old-fashioned switcheroo. Perfect. The Aprilia has gone very wide around that corner. Awesome. Oh, careful. Very good, very good, very good. We have passed the halfway mark now of this race. Halfway through. Ta-da. Wow, okay. Got to be careful of that curve then in the future. Extra nice. Perfect. This bike sounds amazing, though. I'm so used to saying car. this we've got uh, two more laps left to go after that horrendous corner we could have taken mediums easy but uh, we've been taking hards this entire time we may as well stick with them I think the next race will definitely swap to mediums because that is the uh, Mategi Speedway and mediums are so much faster. Like, I can definitely feel the speed difference. These are so much slower.
Nice. Looks like we're doing the uh, same line as the switcheroo. Gets us more speed through the corners, so uh, I wouldn't see why you wouldn't want to do the switcheroo tactic that I do. Nice. Coming up to the finish line. One forty five point nine. Five point zero five four second gap. seconds now. Impressive. There we go. Coming up to this corner for the final time. the break. Here we go. Perfect. Through the corners. Final time. We just got this final section to go. And that will be it. Oh, onto the brakes. Very hard there. Nice. And across the finish line. Ta-da! With a 144.336, and again, the AI cannot take that corner once it takes control. It always crashes. Unbelievable. Stupid AI. Oh, I just dropped my USB. That's where I'm saving my replays, thank you. Right, we are here at the twin ring for the, uh, race number six. Ten laps, let's just get straight into it. I don't have time to delay today. If we do have that extra um, event that we need to do, the extra series, uh, apparently it's around about an hour and 40 minutes to finish, which is even longer than this. And it's got less races. So uh, I'm going to have to get a move on and get on with it. These hard tires are doing a very bad job at taking these corners. But I know we will definitely last till the end of the race. With that kind of time, we're looking at a seven minute race for this one. But obviously that's without a, with a running start, but not a flying start. Flying start is obviously maximum speed going as if you had already taken another lap at maximum speed. And then rolling start, or running start, whatever you want to call it, is just starting with the car moving, or bike moving. Can be any speed. And in this game, it's about 60 miles an hour, so it's very slow. 
and enough for us to gain four entire seconds. Maybe even more than that, actually. I think it's five. But even then, we're still looking at around about just under seven minutes. That's sort of our target. Yeah, there is, we can't actually be crouched for the entire time because otherwise that corner there, we're not stable enough. We could stay crouched for the uh, this longer corner, this longer wider one. Nope. We got one crouch for that as well. Awesome. go nice why am I slowing down so early there we go awesome The one thing with these PlayStation controllers I have noticed is when I turn, and I use quite a lot of force, um, obviously all PlayStation controllers have done this, where you can sort of like pull the sticks out a little bit, and they sort of are at a higher height. You can still control things with it, but it's just sort of like higher up. I don't know why it does it, but it does. But I don't like it like that. I like it pressed in. And these controllers just sort of like unpush themselves. Unlike the PlayStation uh, PS3 controllers. So as I'm turning, I can feel it just like being ripped out of the socket. And then I just click it back in. But like it's just unnatural. I'm not used to it. lap number eight already jesus how are we already on lap number eight i wasn't expecting us to be anywhere near this lap number right now long left. Let's get this finish, get this win. One more lap left. The other bike is so close behind us, but we've still got this lead and we're still maintaining that lead very well. Alright, let's see if we can get a good final corner.
Uh, not a very good final lap. That was decent, though. That was very decent. 6 minutes 38.1. Straight to the next race then. Right, so we're here at the final track, the Circuit de Valencia. Let's go. Let's just go. We've won every single race so far. Hopefully we can win one final race. And then I've got five more races to do. Five more very long races. But that'll be part of a different, <laughs> the final part of this game. Awesome. Already after three corners, we are catching up with third place. It's a sign. Three is the magic number. Awesome. I missed my breaking point. I'm not really very good at that breaking point. Absolutely messed it up. Hopefully we can uh, correct our mistakes for the future. This is only the second race round this track for us. This is the second race. All of the others have just been challenge mode round here. I still can't believe we're nearly at the finish of Tourist Trophy. I mean, it's a short game, but the amount of videos I got out of it is a very decent amount. Very surprising amount. Nearly up in the uh, same numbers as uh, Gran Turismo 6. That series that we did. Obviously, if we do Gran Turismo 4, that's easily going to beat that out of the water. And if we do Gran Turismo... Uh, I was about to say Gran Turismo 4 again. Forza Motorsport 4. That would destroy even that out of the water. Massive amount of videos from both games. That's why I'm excited for the Forza series. Very excited. There we go. We got the breaking line this time. He didn't. Oh dear. That was great. Obviously a six second gap between us and first place now. We may not actually win this race because of this being such a difficult track. Um, the AI might do a better job than us. And if we were on challenge mode, we would have failed right now. Hey, this is a good wheelie there. I had a wheelie good time. Nope. Not apologizing for that. Not a chance. Not apologizing for that joke. There we go. Nice. Obviously, it would be nice to get all wins, get the maximum 70 points. Obviously, Gran Turismo is mandatory to get all 70 points, otherwise, or like get all points in a championship, otherwise, you don't get the special car at the end. Because you need to have gold on all trophies, not gold on the championship. Which sucks. But it's how the game works. Awesome. 
Very nice. Okay, we are catching up. We're getting up towards the halfway mark now. Awesome. Let's go. We are at the halfway mark now. And even though that's time zone 2, that's not the halfway mark, which is really annoying. The fact that the halfway is the first time zone. That was rubbish though. Look at that overtake. Just not even any effort to pass me. And that I gave them a nudge. I should have nudged them off into the wall see if they crashed. I would have been like, take some toxicity. To be fair, that bike, that Aprilia, has made me crash more than six times in this series. In this race, like, competition. Easily. Championship, that was the word I was looking for. In this championship, made me crash at least six times. Which is not fair. Here we go, perfect. Nice. After this lap, we've got two more laps left to go. Perfect. Perfect. Wheelie! Nice. 
guys. Not got far left to go. This has been horrendously long. And the fact is, I'm about to do the longest championship yet. Surprisingly, the next one's even longer. Yeah, horrific. Right, we've got one more lap left to go. Let's cross that finish line and go to the final lap. Oh no, we haven't fallen off until then. Actually, we did. We fell off once. But for once, we've actually done a decent race where we haven't just fallen off like over and over and over again. Here we go. Hard onto the brakes now. Perfection. Oh, nearly. Here we go. Over towards the finish line. Let's do a victory wheelie to the end. There we go. Winner. 12 minutes, 18 seconds for that. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. I could sleep. Here we go. What have we got for this? We've got a 700 CBR 1000 RRW. Holy shit, that looks amazing. Wow. That looks so good. That looks so good. We got a special racing number as well. From one to one. I don't, know, I don't see why not. One to one. One. Why not? One to one. And that is the credits. I'm going to skip that just because of the fact that I know it's probably copyrighted. Um, so hopefully that wasn't on long enough to get copyrighted, I don't think. But uh, yeah, I don't want to get... <gasps> oh, look at the number. It's an outline this time, not a proper number. That is sick. But there we go. That is the win. And if we come back out of the menu, we should see. Yes. The Special Machine Festival. This is for all the uh, special vehicles that we've unlocked. I'm looking forward to that. I'm about to do it right now. Like, right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like a